Grand Rising. Um, hiya. Um, I just finished my 11, 11 day juice fast. Um, so it consisted of celery juice first thing in the morning and then um, a lemon and ginger juice. And then during the day I had a juice which was made of um, broccoli, uh, some green leaves, cucumber, um, and sometimes some lime. So I did that for 11 days. Initially it was going to be just four days, but at four day mark, I felt that there was, I hadn't quite finished. So I went to 11 days. And I thought I would just um, talk about the 11 things I learnt. So the first one was that it was not so much that I felt hungry. It was more like I realised that much of the food that I eat was came out of habit. So I would pick things here and there. And um, even when I wasn't even when I wasn't hungry, it was the picking of food that I kind of discovered was a habit that I had been just unconsciously just doing. I would just go past and pick something and pick something and then go and move about food for so long. You kind of realise this habit and you see it. So that was the first thing. Second thing, everything kind of slows down. So you walk slower, everything's slower. And I guess you take time to appreciate things a little bit more. The third one was, oh yes, I learnt so much about food because while I was fasting, um, I read up on foods and um, the nutritional benefits and uh, foods to eat. I'm a vegan, so um, I have a cookbook yeah, and I was looking at vegan recipes that I would try when I finished the fast. And I learned about uh, turmeric and ginger and the health benefits of that. And um, what else was there? Yeah, and garlic, the health benefits of garlic and a few other foods. So, yeah, so even while I wasn't eating, I learned a lot about food. And the fourth one is that to become, I became aware of silence more throughout the day. I guess that comes together with everything slowed down. You just become more aware of just silence. And in that silence, you start to watch your thoughts and you watch your feelings and you watch the, the thoughts of um, what you would things that have gone on in the past or and especially during the first few days it was watching the habitual thought of a I would like to eat this or eat that yeah so that was number four so number five is ah there are so many great books audio books on YouTube I thought during this time I'll be uh, reading books, but I didn't really feel in the in the I didn't really feel like reading. So I went onto YouTube and I discovered some great audio books. So I listened to uh, some books I've read before: Jonathan Livingston Seagull uh, by Richard Back, Illusions by Richard Back, uh, The Master and Margarita. Uh, I listened to The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. I listened to The Tao Te Ching. Um, lots of talks by J. Krishnamurti. I listened to... Um, who else did I listen to? There was one more, which I can't remember. But yes, but lots of great books. And so if anybody out there has any links for great audio books, please send them my way. I'm definitely going to continue um, with the audiobooks. Yeah, so listening to the body. So originally it was, I was going to only fast for four days, but at four days, 
I just felt that there was a hadn't finished and the body needed more time. So then I went to up to 11 days. And then I realized that, uh, so today I'm finishing today, today's the 12th day, but there, there, there was no hunger. I, I, no point did I really feel hungry. Or maybe in the first, on the second day. But after that, I didn't really feel hungry. It was more like, as I said before, you, you see the habit that you have of putting things in your mouth and wanting to eat. Um, yeah, so um, a lot less, number seven, a lot less interactions, you know, with the phone or with the TV or with the internet. That slowed down a lot, except for, as I said, the, um, the audio books. A lot less um, social media stuff. Ah, I think this one was the biggest one. There were lots of insights and ideas. I do lots of writing and it was a very productive week when it, come, when it came to ideas and writing things down and so many things came, came to me this week. Oh, on, so, this is number nine. So on the, I think it was the fifth or sixth day, I had this great fear arise and I don't know what it was, but it came up. And I guess in this week of kind of silence, I was able to kind of watch it. And it stayed with me for about, just about five, 10 minutes and then just went away. And after that, it felt like something had lifted, had fallen away. I don't really know what it was. I didn't go into the whys of it, but that's what just happened on the fourth, or on the fifth or sixth day. Oh yes, um, another thing I've learnt. Um, I didn't really number ten. I didn't really tell. I didn't tell anybody I was fasting. And I think what in that case. A lot of times when you go on to new ventures or projects or doing a fast or whatever you're doing, you waste so much energy explaining things to people about why you're doing it. And because I didn't have to do that, I just felt that, you know, no one really knew what I was doing. I just got on with my day, had no one asking. So I think in the future, if I do this again, or with other projects, maybe telling people about it is not always the best way to go because explaining things and even sometimes justifying it or it just takes so much energy okay uh, number 11 um i don't know how much i weigh um i haven't weighed myself in years so i don't know about that i don't know how much weight i dropped but um i do know that a pair of trousers that were very tight and difficult to button at the beginning of the 11 days and now become very loose. So that's, uh, is that? so I don't know how much weight fell off, but I could see and I could feel it. And yeah, so that's what happened during the 11 day fast. I, um, I really enjoyed it. And at the end, I don't really feel hungry. Not at all. Uh, but I'm looking forward to some um, fried rice soon. And uh, But I'm definitely going to, I juice a lot anyway, so I'm keeping up with the juices. I do celery juice every morning anyway with the lemon and ginger. And I have learned a lot about food, which I think I'm going to incorporate into my diet now.